Michael here for another huge week in LEGO news. Could we finally be getting Mario minifigures? Mandalorian Season 3 and Super Star Destroyer. Disney 100 collectible minifigures. LEGO ET, are we getting LEGO Pac-Man? And why can't you buy this LEGO set? And don't forget to listen to the latest episode of my LEGO Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters. This week I sit down with Season 3 contestants, Christine and Michelle, for my postseason deep dive. And you can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and so much more using links in the description below. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First at Best Buy, the LEGO Avengers Endgame Final Battle is 24% off. And the LEGO Ninjago Jace Thunder Dragon Evo is 25% off. Next at Amazon, the LEGO Jurassic World T-Rex and Atrociraptor Dinosaur Breakout is 25% off. The LEGO Speed Champions Aston Martin DB5 and LEGO Avatar Natiri and Thanator vs. Amsuit Core sets are 20% off. The LEGO Star Wars UCS Millennium Falcon is 12% off, and the LEGO Ideas Treehouse is 22% off. They also have the LEGO Classic Build Together for 20% off, and over at Walmart, you can get the LEGO Classic Creative Fantasy Universe set for 33% off. And the LEGO Marvel Goat Boat and Wolverine Mech Armor Bundle is 31% off. Over at LEGO, the Houses of the World gift with purchases back with purchases over $250. And the LEGO Friends Notebook with $65 of select themes. And double VIP points on Mario sets to celebrate Mario Day. And don't forget, tomorrow you can pick up the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set and get a free Lord of the Rings Brickheads. So if you want to pick up any of these deals or all the March releases and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up in Mario news, this week is Mario Day. And Nintendo is celebrating with a full calendar of events, including a special LEGO reveal. We're over on their YouTube channel on March 10th. They're going to be featuring some exclusive content and a big reveal. Last year on Mario Day, we did get the reveal of Princess Peach and the full summer wave of Mario sets. But as it's currently rumored for the summer wave, there's not going to be any sort of starter course nor character pack series, which could mean that LEGO is finally moving away from the buildable character-based series and towards a minifigure-based line. The wave could, of course, also be based off of the upcoming The Super Mario Brothers movie, which might make this a timely announcement since the film releases next month. But as always, we'll have to wait and see. But while we wait, check out the Mario VIP rewards, including some of the recent polybags. Next in Star Wars news, we got this awesome poster to celebrate The Mandalorian Season 3, which is, of course, a LEGO recreation of the season's poster. But when we look closer, we see some extra printing on the helmet, which may indicate that this is a new version we can expect for the new sets, as we also see some changes with this dark gray flight suit. And this figure looks like a combination of the UCS Razor Crest version plus the standard Beskar armor, which would make for a pretty nice update. But of course, it could have just been for the artwork. Meanwhile, we also got the reveal of the Executor Super Star Destroyer, with 630 pieces retailing for $70 on May 1st. This midi scale style version of the ship looks really nice with lots of great tiled off surfaces. And at this size, it's of course much more manageable than the previous one, which was about three times longer. The overall shaping looks really nice and I especially love all the greebling at the center. And there's even two smaller Imperial Star Destroyers. And the whole thing sits on this display stand with some nice printed plaques, including this one for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. This set of course reminds me of the previous exclusive Nebulon B frigate, which was really hard to get. And I like that Lego's returning back to the midi scale, which allows us to get a lot of these iconic ships at a more manageable size. As the initial pre-orders are already sold out, fans seem to be really looking forward to this one, and I can't wait to see it when it comes out. Next up this week, we also got the reveal of the Disney 100 collectible minifigures, and unlike the more recent series, which have 12, we're back to 18 with this one. And I think these ones look like some of the best ones yet, down to their exclusive printed stands. First up, we've got Sorcerer Mickey, who looks amazing with that brand new molded head, dual molded legs, a mop and a bucket. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit has an awesome new head mold, dual molded legs, and a clapperboard. Pinocchio features a minifigure head with a molded nose, plus this great hair hat combo, and a printed head featuring Cleo in the fishbowl. Jiminy Cricket features a new face print, collar, and brand new top hat piece, which looks great. Baymax looks super interesting with those brand new arm molds, and he even features a build for his charging dock. Next, we've got Stitch 626, which reuses that awesome dual arm mold from Solo. For Princesses, Pocahontas looks awesome with the new hair mold, dual molded legs, a compass, and leaves for the colors of the wind. Aurora looks great with the new head mold, printing on the arms and dress, and this nice owl piece. Next up, we've got Mulan with some great printing that continues onto the dual molded legs, plus an accessory of Cricky. Tiana features detailed prints, a new hair mold, the frog, and this great printed tile. For the villains, Dr. Facilier looks great with that new top hat, plus he's got his cane and a card. Cruella looks amazing with the new hair piece and printed cape, plus dual molded legs, her purse piece, and this amazing new Dalmatian. The Evil Queen features a new molded crown, a cape and collar, and this great print for the magic mirror, which looks like a minifigure head. The Queen of Hearts has a sinister grin, that new hair crown combo, and a great print on that big dress piece. Miguel features a great face print with the hood and guitar, and there's even an alternate head and hair. Plus he comes with Dante who looks goofy. Ernesto de la Cruz looks amazing with such detailed prints, that new hair hat combo, and an awesome new guitar. Robin Hood features a unique molded head, plus dual molded arms and legs and great printing. Prince John also features a new molded head, great dual molded legs with printing, that shoulder fabric piece, and accessories. As a huge Disney and minifigure 
Tiger fan, this was always going to be a must have, but I'm so delighted by just how much love they put into these ones. Next up, thanks to Exabricks, we've got rumors of an upcoming Lego Pac-Man set. Lego has been dipping their toes into classic gaming nostalgia for a while, with the recent sets like the Atari 2600 and the classic Nintendo Entertainment System. And as the Pac-Man games have been a staple since the 1980s, it makes a lot of sense that Lego would be considering this as its next expansion. In fact, this may sound familiar, as recently this Pac-Man-based project hit 10,000 supporters on Lego Ideas. If I had to guess, I'm thinking it could be a set based on the classic Pac-Man arcade cabinet, as this would be very nostalgic and look great on display. And as always with this one, we'll have to wait and see. Next up, the Lego House announced an exclusive minifigure tribute set with 1,041 pieces and retailing for 600 Danish kroner. And this set is the fourth in the recent line of Lego House exclusive sets, which you could only get at the Lego House in Billund, Denmark. The build, of course, is a scaled up version of the iconic minifigure Captain Redbeard. And it's built in the same style and scale as the Harry Potter and Hermione Granger buildable figures that we got previously. And just like those figures, it could be posed just like a minifigure can. The head features some nice printed detail, and I love the shaping of the hat, though that logo's a sticker. And it's nice that they brick built the epaulets and all the great detail on the torso. In his right hand, he's holding a stickered map, which features the Black Seas Barracuda and a pirate island shaped like Denmark. And his left hand features a pirate hook and a Lego house wristband. And I like how they captured the build of the peg leg as it sits on this nice base. The designer also posted some behind the scenes design photos of some of the concepts, as well as how this model came to be. And I would have loved to get a brick built treasure chest like this one. And while I'm of course disappointed this set is exclusive to the Lego house, I hope Lego does keep making more sets like this. Next in VIP news, Lego's updated the site with some new rewards. First up for 850 points, you can get this retro art print featuring that classic 1960s advertisement, which is also the same design that came on a previous VIP reward of this lunchbox. They've got Easter rewards and minifigure wrapping paper. And to celebrate the BTS Dynamite Lego Ideas set, they've also got some free instructions for some BTS themed builds. So be sure to check out the VIP rewards site if you want to pick them up. Next tip over at Walmart, we got the reveal of the Lego Animal Play Pack, which includes 486 pieces and retails for $15 exclusively at Walmart. And this set actually features three sets in one, including last year's Easter Rabbits display, which cost $13, the Lego Crater Dolphin and Turtle, which cost $10, and this year's Lego Crater Easter Chickens Poly Bag, which retails for $5. These three sets have some really nice builds and pieces, and for this price, it's like getting the three sets 46% off, so it's a great deal. And unfortunately, while it doesn't seem to be available online, people have been finding it in their stores, so be sure to check it out. Next up in Lego Ideas News, there were two more projects at 10,000 supporters on the platform, so let's break them down. First up, we've got E.T. the Extraterrestrial. The build is, of course, an homage to the classic 1982 film E.T., and in a style similar to the Lego Ideas Starry Night, we've got a brick-built version of a poster featuring the iconic scene where Elliot and E.T. fly past the moon. On the whole, I think the designer did a really nice job recreating this in a unique style, and I think it'd be awesome to get a line of Lego sets like this based on classic movie posters. Next up, we've got Amethyst Geode. The build depicts this geological marvel using 2,854 pieces, and the designer did a nice job making it look like a realistic cracked open geode with all of that unique texture. On the whole, I think this project would make a really interesting display piece, though as we have seen a similar project get rejected before, I'm curious how this one would do, but as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, another really exciting week in LEGO news with lots of fun rumors and reveals. I personally can't wait for all these awesome Disney 100 sets to come out, especially those great collectible minifigures with so many of my favorites. I'm also eager to find out what we're going to be getting for Mandalorian Season 3, because it's already shaping up to be a lot of fun. Not to mention what surprises we could have on the 10th for the big Mario reveal. And I can't wait to see Rivendell when it comes out this week. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next week with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the About page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win. And definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted, because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks, and have a good one. Michael here, clicking to watch last week's video featuring Indiana Jones, UCS X-Wing, $500 Batcave, Avengers Tower, Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary, Monsters, Inc., and don't forget to subscribe.